What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're showcasing Umbreon in ranked regulation F. Now, Umbreon is a natural defensive bulk with 130 special defense. That is insanely high. This thing can soak up some shots. On top of it, that, its HP stats pretty solid and its defense stats pretty solid. So we're rocking out with the Rocky Helmet, hopefully soaking up some shots and dealing damage that way. Umbreon's also rocking inner focus as its ability to deal with intimidate and fake out users and on top of that, I'm loving its moveset. We got Snarl for special attack drops, Foul Play for big time damage on physical attackers and then on top of that, we got Skill Swap and Moonlight for HP recovery. Haven't used Umbreon in a good bit and this is my first time using them in Regulation F, so hopefully get to rock out with it and grab some wins for you guys. Now, this team also features three rain Pokemon. You got Pelipper to set the lane and then you got Ogre Pond and Arch Ludon to really thrive out in the Ogre Pond will get some big time damage with Ivy Cudgel, and Arch Ludon can use Electro Shot in one turn within the range, giving it a free special attack boost every time we use it. Final two Pokemon on today's team is going to be Annihilate and Mousehold. Really strong combo ever since the release of this game, and on top of that, Mousehold's a great support Pokemon on its own, and Annihilate's a great attacker on its own. So they don't need each other, but they really thrive with each other. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you like it up and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match. First match coming at you guys, looking for a big time win. We're going up against a pretty meta squad, but with Garchomp. Absolutely love Garchomp, still decently strong in this format. They also have Ogre Pond, Urshifu. They got Tornadus, probably for a little bit of rain. And then on top of that, they're rocking out with Incineroar. And last but not least, they have Flutter. So who should we go into here? We could go into maybe Umbreon turn one, which wouldn't be bad. I could always skill swap intimidate users if they go into physical attackers and just bounce back that intimidate. Could definitely be pretty good. We could also just like start snarling with that depending on who they go into. But I believe for the lead, they're gonna go some sort of Tornadus, somebody else, right? So Tornadus Urshifu could be the play. They could also go in with mm, Tornadus Fluttermane, or they could just go straight in Cinnamon. So who would I want to lead here? I do have Assault Vest on you. I do have a decent terror type of flying to kind of deal with maybe the, uh, the what's called the Urshfu. And that's kind of something I want to go into because I believe you have Tailwind, right, Pelipper? So you can match Tailwind speed. So yeah, that's pretty good. So I'm going to go in with both of them. I am going to bring Umbreon in the back end. And last but not least, we could either go Annihilate or Ogre Pond. Annihilate or Ogre Pond not bad. And I'm kind of leaning towards Annihilate. Just as it's a nice strong attacker in the back end, plus it has Strain Punch, can get HP back that way. And if for some reason they have Intimidate Pokemon late in the game, I can always pop that Defiant late game. So I'm cool with this lead. I'm cool with this lead. We got special attackers. We don't have to worry about uh We don't have to worry about Intimidate, but I will have to worry about fake out, which I don't like, but we'll deal with it when the time comes. So we'll see who they want to lead. Again, I could see probably Tornadus, Urshfu, or some sort of Incineroar lead. And it's going to be Tornadus and Fluttermane. Okay, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Not too bad. Now, I can go Tailwind for Tailwind. I do have Assault Vest, which is really nice for me. Um, They could just end up hard swapping Fluttermane. Which wouldn't be bad. But person this is boosting it up really well. I could just go into a Heavy Slam. It's probably my best bet. Just go Heavy Slam here and match their Tailwind. Yeah, I like that. We're going to match their Tailwind. If they were smart, they wouldn't pop a Tailwind this turn. They would wait. They would pop a Bleak Storm and go from there. But we're just going to keep our typing right here. And we're going to drop a Heavy Slam into the Flutter. We're going to rip after it with Arch Ludon. Arch Ludon so strong. Super strong. Amazing stats with it. I love Arch Ludon. But I also loved the Duraludon when I was in Sword and Shield. I'm kind of upset that like we're not really going to be using Duraludon anymore. Because now we have Arch Ludon. So it's kind of upsetting. But they end up going for Tailwind. They go for Dazzle Gleam. I don't mind that one bit. Arch Ludon has that best. I also get a Stamina Boost. Now, since Fluttermane used Booster Energy, we know it's not Focus Ash, which is big news for us. Because we can say bye-bye to it. Heavy Slam actually survives. Wow. I'm actually really upset at that. Really upset. So we go Tailwind for Tailwind. Um, I'm actually just going to go for Electro Shot here. And I might just Wide Guard. Just in case they want to go Dazzle Gleam and Bleak Wind Storm. That's going to be my play. That's going to be my play. All day long. So, we're going to see a nice little Terra button. Probably press from who? Hopefully the Fluttermane, right? This is going to be Fluttermane. Going into what type? 
You need to go on the fairy. You're looking to just do as much damage as you can with Dazzling Gleam. Is that the call here? Is that the call? Because I'm popping wide guard. I'm hoping it's Dazzling Gleam, right? Dazzling Gleam, Bleak Wind Storm would be my best friend. It would be my best friend. Yep, there's Dazzling Gleam. And out comes the second move. And is it going to be Ble Bleak Wind Storm? Maybe I should have finished off the Fluttermane now that I'm looking at it. But it is going to be Ble Bleak Wind Storm. So now, on top of this, on top of this, we get to finish off this Tornado with a nice little Electro Shot. So Wide Guard, good call on my end. I could go for another one. It could be Choice. No, you're not Choice. You're Booster Energy. So we could end up swapping that move. Um, I'm going to boost a Special Attack here. I'm going to get rid of this Tornado. This should KO the Tornado, unless you're Sash. But a lot of times you're Curve Cloak, so yeah, you're gone. Wow, I really wish we would have taken out that Flutter. With that Heavy Slam, that would have been massive. That would have been massive. Would have been so big. Really would have. So we're sitting here, we have Umbreon in the back end. We also have Annihilate. So I need to get rid of this Flutter main. Like, this Flutter main needs to go. It absolutely needs to go. So I could end up Terrasalizing. Um, I could go for Wide Guard. I might want to Terrasalize this Arch Luna because I feel like the only way it KOs us is if it goes into, is if it goes into, what's it called? This is darker for a fighting move here, and it probably is. So I might just Terrasalize here and make sure that this Fluttermane dies out. I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna drop a Wide Guard at the same time, just in case they decide to go for that Dazzling Gleam. So I'm gonna do it just in case. It's more so as just like a, uh, a, a precaution here, right? Cause like, I just want to get rid of this flutter man. I need to get rid of this flutter. If I don't, we're gonna lose this match. So I'm just trying to get rid of it here. Have my back end Pokemon to give us a shot at winning this game. Arch Ludon's gonna get the turret. We're hoping close combat's coming into slot into this slot. We use this just in case Dazzling Gleam comes out here. And if it doesn't, I believe Moonblast would come into the Pelper slot. And no, they are going for Dazzling Gleam. There we go. Nice little precautionary notice there. We love it. So there's that and should be close combat from the Earth Sphere, right? This is exactly why we terrestrialize into flying. And there it is. Cool. So we should soak that up. Oh my god. So bulky. Yo, that did like nothing. That did like 15 HP and it lowered defense of that Pokemon. We did have a defense boost. Now there's our second defense boost. Heavy Slam coming in hot here. We may, might have not even needed to use our Terra there. Just so bulky with stamina. We maybe just didn't even need to use Terra. So now, Arch Ludon's sitting here in a great position. Um, Wyguard worked perfectly in this first match. And they're going to send out their final Pokemon, which is going to be Garchomp. So Garchomp comes to play. I think there's one turn left in Tailwind on both sides. Yeah, two turns left in Rain. And from here, I'm just going to go for a Body Press. And on top of that, just go for a... Weather Ball? Yeah, let's Weather Ball this thing now. I'm going for Weather Ball. I love Weather Ball. So we go for Weather Ball into the Garchomp slot. He's just going to go for Wicked Blow and go for the Crit move. We're, gonna able, we're able to soak the Crit move, which is great. Stamina is going to boost us up. Are you going for Rock Slide, maybe? No, you go for Sword Stance. Silly little goose, because now, now this game is pretty much over. Wrap it up. You don't you don't make sure that my Archer is going to go for the Risky Play. Weather Ball going to do some big-time damage. We get a crit on that. Body Press going to say bye-bye to you. And, of course, your Sash. They are sitting here. Little chance here, but not really. They got Umbreon in the back end. Nice bulky Pokemon. You are Swords Dance, which I don't like. I don't like that one bit. Nice little Swords Dance. So it is Swords Dance ready to go. That is looking real scary. And from here... From here... Who do we go after? Basically, you just need to get rid of one of them. So I'm just going to double down into them. I could go for I could I could go for wide guard, but not my plan. I was gonna say I could go for wide guard and maybe hope that he goes for rock slide, but it didn't really matter because Wicked Blue is just taking out this slot. So we're looking to pick up a KO. Maybe I should have went for Tailwind. Nah, Pelper doesn't even have speed. Terra Blast can come out here. Can you soak this Terra Blast? You can. Okay, yeah, Terra Blast made we without a Terra. That's huge. So there we go. Pick up the KO on for you. That's crazy that you went for that, right? That's crazy how you went for Terra Blast. So you're telling me you don't have Dragon Claw or Rock Slide? That's weird. That's weird. I, I think maybe he was just like, okay, let's use this. Maybe he had like low accuracy moves. 
and he was just like, okay, I don't want to miss, but now I get to bring out Umbreon to finish off this match. Nice little foul play, can keep this one going. And what a solid match for us. Oh, and we got shiny Umbreon. I love like the, the blue on it. Oh my God, the blue looks so sick. Looks so sick, but dropping a foul play here. Just gonna go for a, maybe just a wide guard, just in case he wants to drop like a rock slide here. And we'll go from there. So there we go. Wide guard popping out here. Show me a rock slide. That'd be awesome. Just gonna go for another tower blast. Okay, cool. Later. Later, Pelipper. But later, Garchomp. GG's. Cool. So again, wide guard was just there for a nice little precautionary notice. Didn't want to drop in a rock slide plus two on sword stance, getting a flinch, getting lucky, all that good stuff. So we popped a wide guard. We have Umbreon finish off this match. And there you guys go. 1 0 to get things started. Moving on to match number two, and we're going up against a big time ice team. So Weather War is going to be in full effect. They got Iron Bundle, they got Alola Ninetales, they're also rocking out with Mamma Swine and Glaceon. So Little Weather War and Evolution War. We love it. We love it so much. But who should I play here? I really like Umbreon due to its high special attack and snarl. So I am gonna end up beating Umbreon here. I really do like that. So I'm going to go Umbreon here. Pelper is more so going to be a back-end Pokemon. And when it comes to another lead, I might just go Archaludon. I think Archaludon could be good because it could boost my stamina. And from there, I can really just start body pressing into whoever I want. Which is really, really good. Big time damage comes out from body pressing. We also have Heavy Slam. So a lot of these Ice Pokemon, not ready for that. I'm going to go into both of these guys. So cool. Like the lead so much. Got to go Pelper in the back-end. And last but not least... Do we go Ogre Pond? Or do we go Annihilate? I'm kind of leaning Ogre Pond. I do like Ogre Pond here. Especially if we can Terrasalize late game. Which I don't know if we can. And at that point, we can just start ripping into these Ice type Pokemon. We love it. We love it. So Ogre Pond will be our final choice. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number two. Because match number one went really well. Honestly, Pelipper MVP right there. Wide Guard City coming out there. Black and Dazzling Gleams. Black and Bleak Windstorms. Helping Archaludon just absolutely massacre the team heavy slams electro shots body presses you name it archaludon does it all i love archaludon such a strong pokemon it really is but we're gonna see who they want to end up leading who is your lead probably a lone nine tails right and if it is i might just, I might just have to hard swap and yeah lone nine tails is gonna come out here. so to be honest i think from here we just hard swap archaludon and we drop a snarl i think that is hands down our best play snarl coming out here we go for a nice little Pelper swap. Get that rain cooking. Say, yo, Roar Belt, not happening. I can't deal with Roar I hate it. I hate going up against Roar Belt. I love using it, and I love using the screens. But when you're going up against it, you're like, yo, these guys are so bulky. I cannot KO them, which is just a huge problem. So I hate going up against it. But Wimscout with the lead as well uh, leads me to think they're probably just going to pop a Tailwind. Or they could just pop a Tailwind and, and read that we're swapping. But I'm going to just make the simple play. Swap into Pelper. Take weather control, allow them not to set up a Roar Veil. Hopefully they're going for the Roar Veil. That'd be really nice. Cause I'm drizzling. Rain is here. This thing is going to, oh no, oh no. Special defense dropped me and there's a Roar Veil, cool. Now my special defense is dropped. I'm able to snarl, which is great. Two special attackers. Awesome, so we get the special attack drop onto both of those guys. Um, I don't mind doing that again simply don't mind doing that again and from here i could just wide guard or i could hard swap out because you could be going for another fake tears at this point i'm, I'm just going to swap out into your pond or do i just go back into arch i'm just going to go back into arch Ludon, because if they do fake tears pokemon they are minus one on special attack and on top of that i got the best so i like arch Ludon here so i'm gonna hard swap into arch Ludon. i could have maybe set up a tailwind this turn but I think hard swap and Pelipper and saving the weather war for later is a good idea. Yep, and they're doing the exact same thing. So cool, good calls for us. Pelipper, get swappy. Get swapping with it. Glaceon's gonna come back out here. Or not come back out here, come out here for the first time. So both Eeveelutions, look at them, they look so dope. Onto the field, we love it. We love it. So that comes my Archaludon, and they're gonna end up terrasalizing Whimsicott. We love it. We love a Terra on the Whimsicott. Oh my lord. It was like back in the day when uh people had no choice but to threat or Dynamax or Wimscott, like say they were in a pinch in the battle. It was like the coolest thing to see. I love it. I love a good old Tarot on this thing. He's gonna end up popping a Tailwind, which is kinda odd to go into a ghost type. Maybe you thought I was going into a hurricane. 
which makes sense. But now Snarl dropping special attack yet again. Umbreon's great here. Umbreon is great here. The special attack Snarl drops working well. From here, guess what we're going to do here? We're going to Snarl. They could actually hard slot back into... Uh, they could hard slot back into what's it called. What the heck is this thing? Can't even think of it. Uh, Nine tails. So I'm gonna go for body press instead of electro shot. No, they're just gonna fake tears me up. So fake tears gonna fly here. Um, I think we're still fine here. Special defense is going to drop. And freeze try is gonna fly here. We're vested. You're fine. Oh, that actually hit a little harder than than I would like. Definitely hit a little harder than I would. Like. Body press gonna fly now plus one and pick up some nice damage. We like that damage. So now we're gonna fly here. Nice damage again. So from here, I'm just gonna foul play the Whimsicott, and I might end up hard swapping the Arch League one. Not liking the fake tears here, right? Not liking the fake tears. I could go back into Pelipper. I could. Just save Arch Luna, which could be good. And I might read the swap anyway. I'm gonna go into Pelipper here. Fake tears is scary, but I do have Focus Sash, so I'd rather use my Focus Sash. I'm gonna hope that they end up swapping into uh, Nine Tails this turn. That would be awesome, but. Definitely doubt it. I think they're just gonna go for the same thing. Fake tears. Yeah. Into freeze dry, which is totally fine. I'm just gonna focus Ash up here. I am just gonna focus Ash up. So that is gonna be four times super effective. And yeah, we're just using our focus Ash this turn. So I didn't want that going into the Ogre Pond, and I really don't want to lose my Arch Ludon. So I think our best bet was. So from there, we don't pick up the KO, which kind of sucks. And then Brian's gonna take some Rocky. I'm gonna snarl one more time and oh man. I'm here we're just gonna swap an Arch Lunon. Swap back in Arch Lunon. Save the weather. Looking for Umbreon just to slowly pick up some KOs. So Al is gonna come a low in Nine Tails, right? Which is totally fine by me. And I get Pelipper back off the field. He's gonna set the snow. And on top of this, I'm gonna be able to KO Whimsicott with this snarl and get a special attack drop onto this Nine Tails. We love it. We love it. I bring back out Arch Luna. Hopefully they hit me with like some light baby move here. Moonblast. Yeah. I'm able to soak. And I get a stamina boost. Huge. Huge place for us. So out comes the snarl. Bye bye Whimscott. Minus one on tonight. So we're playing the weather war pretty well. So are they. So are they. But we get rid of Whimscott. Snarl going crazy right now. Umbreon really helping us out in this matchup here. That's why I love Umbreon. Just... Such a pester in game sometimes. Like, dude, I'm pestering. Right now. I'm being real pestery, right? I'm being real pestery. So, Umbreon picking up the special attack drop. I think they only have special attack. So, Snarl's our best friend. And yeah, they do. They're, they're going to bring it out to Anatus. So, from here, I'm just going to keep the Snarl flowing. And instead of hard swapping, do I just attack? I could go Flying Terror, which actually sounds really nice. It actually sounds really nice. Just go Flying Terror. And just Dragon Pulse this thing. Or I could Body Press. I mean, Body Press isn't really going to do much, right? Not very effective. Yeah, you know what? I don't think they go for a War Bell here. I think they think that we're swapping. Yeah. Okay, cool. Good call on us. Good call on our end. Good call on our end. So we Terrasalize just in case he wants to go into the ground move here. We are dropping a Snarl, getting after it again, and we're not even swapping weather because we read them thinking that we we're going to swap weather. So good call on our end. Good call on our end. Then I'm going into Glaceon. I need to get rid of this Glaceon here. I'm going to use our Terra onto this Pokemon. I probably should have saved it, to be honest with you, but that works. Probably should have seen it, but Dragon Pulse is going to fly here, do some big time damage, get the critical hit, and on top of that, Snarl bouncing out here again. Who's dodging this? Glaceon dodges it. That's rough. The special attack is dropping here. I have to pick up some KOs here, and I think picking up a KO onto you would be better. So I'm going to attack that slot, and I'm just going to go for a body press if we can, right? Just in case he wants to swap into Nine Tails or something. I don't know. But we have both Pokemon really low. They only have Nine Tails left. Arch Luna. We kind of wasted Terra there. We probably didn't need to use Terra. But it's all good. It's all good. 
We were kind of hoping the ground move would come out in this slot, but I think they thought we were swapping into Pelfer. The so freeze dry is going to come out here, and Umbreon's going to be able to soak no problem. And Falpoint is going to finish off his games. It's huge. So now they're forced to bring back out Nine Tails, and from here, I can easily just hard swap into Pelper. And Pelper actually should be slower than Nine Tails, right? Yeah, so I can just go into Pelper right now. I can just go into Pelper right now. If I can go into Pelper right now, they're going to send out a little Nine Tails. Their snow warning would trigger first, but now Drizzle's just going to take over weather control for the rest of the game. Cool. So there's that. We're going to make sure that you die out here. I'm going to do that. And how many turns are left in Tailwind? That's a real question. He should have one, right? No, it's gone. Unless, yeah, no, it's gone. Cool. So it's gone there. Umbreon's chilling here. I am just going to go for, I guess, a Weather Ball. I think we kind of have to make sure. I mean, we should be fine with this match, but... I'm just going to make sure this thing goes down. We're just going to double down into it. And I always seem to do this. I always seem to double down at the wrong time, man. I always seem to double down at the wrong time. So Umbreon's going to take damage. I do get to bring out Overpun, which is a rather fast Pokemon. And Falpoi is just going to do nothing. So I get to bring out Ogrepan here. Ogrepan not sitting bad. I am scared of you outspeeding me, which is definitely an option. So I might just Spiky Shield here. Because I would believe the Sludge Bomb would come, come in hot, right? So I might just Spiky Shield and have Umbreon go for the finish here. Which I really like. So I'm going to go for Spiky Shield here. Put up my Protect. We have fingers crossed for this Landorus in Incarnate form. To go for Sludge Bomb into the slot. I, I, would, I would most likely think that, but his smart play would just be, Hey, I'm switching this up. I'm throwing Sludge Bomb into the other slot. Which, ooh, that can win him the match, but it's a risky play. It's a risky play. Blizzard gonna fly here. Blizzardo gonna fly here. Number on Stokes that all day. No freezes allowed. Sludge Bomb does come into that slot, and that pretty much just locks up the game. So they protect us, we protect them right back. This was such a solid matchup here. Weather War went crazy, but honestly, Umbreon just really stole the show there. Snarl going insane. They probably should have not brought so many special attackers, but that's kind of what their team consisted of besides Mammoth Swine. And it worked out really well. But I'm just going to go for a Moonlight here. I'm just going to drop an Ivy Cudgel in the rain. I believe they're just going to cancel the match, right? No, they're just going to Encore me into Spiky Shield. Hold up. We got a game. We got a game, but luckily I'm going for a nice little Moonlight. Nice little Moonlight coming out here. Give me some HP. Give me some HP back. Yeah. You're like, I'm going to Encore you and then have you low, but no, that's not happening. And then from here, I'm just going to Snarl. Snarl is going to come out here, and I'm forced to go for Spike Shield. I'm Encored into it. Wow, you have Encore, yo. Chill. You got to chill. You have to chill. You're going to Encore me into Moonlight? Oh, no. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! <laughs> Yo! I'm confused at how you're gonna play this. You're just gonna keep doing that until... You're just gonna keep encoring me? Don't do that. I'll leave the match. You can have the win at this point. You can have the win at this point. This is rough. He's just going to Encore me again. He has me in a perfect Encore situation. Is there any way I can get out of this? I could Encore... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's going to Encore me here. So I could Encore into Follow Me instead. That's, that's going to be my play. That's going to be my play. I'm going to Encore into Follow Me just so I can get the Umbreon add on. Yeah, yeah, you want to mess with me? I, I got plans. I got plans for this, dude. I got plans for this, because guess what? Guess what? Now Umbreon's going to be out of Encore, and you were probably just like, hey, I want to I wanna uh, Encore Umbreon again. But no, now we can follow me this, and we can get out of this Encore. So you really, like, I got you. I'm not, I'm not playing around here. I'm not playing around. Now we're in follow me. Yeah, didn't expect that play. You did not expect that play. 
I'll core me like that. Get on out of here. Get on out of here. And Ogre Pond dodges attack. Hey, you're not doing much damage. Snarl coming hot here. Yeah, I'm coming after you now. You want to play with me? Snarl's dropping left and right. Another Snarl. You didn't Encore me, so now I get a chance to go for Ivy Cudgel. Oh no, I'm Encore to follow me still. Cool, so follow me. Coming out here. Drop another Blizzard or Foul Play. Blizzard or Foul Play. You name it. Look at this guy. Trying to Encore me like that. Foul Play does a nice chunk of damage. Oh, it gets a crit. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. I'm gonna go for another Snarl again. Well, let's see how much damage Foul Play does. How much damage do you think Foul Play's gonna do? I don't think it's gonna do that much, but I'll go for it. We'll give him a shot here. Gotta go for another Follow Me here. The last Follow Me before the Encore ends. Um, we are able to get Umbreon out of the Encore, which there's Foul Play flying through from that. That's gonna KO Ogre Pod. <laughs> really? Encore doing me dirty, man. You got a weird moveset on this thing. Foul Play's gonna fly here. And damage, okay. I'm just gonna keep foul playing. I'm not gonna switch into Moonlight or anything. I think that's what they want. But I think we got the upper hand here. Umbreon standing its ground. Blizzard flying through here. Doing nothing. You're looking for a freeze more so than anything. Foul play coming in hot here. Yeah, we got you down to yellow. We got you down to yellow. Now, I really want to Moonlight, but the problem with going for Moonlight is once I Moonlight, you got a crit, man. Once I Moonlight, we have a problem. Once I Moonlight, they can Encore me into it. That's my problem. So no more crits. We're hoping they can miss a Blizzard. It's only doing 10 damage, which is good. The Foul Play chunking up. Oh, yeah. You need another crit. It's the only way you win. Only way you're winning. Spamming this Foul Play. So luckily, I had Follow Me, and I was able to get out of that, uh, get out of that Encore situation. And they just ended up missing a Blizzard. Foul Play brings you down to one. And that should be game, even if you get a crit. Thanks for playing. Get on out of here. Good idea. Definitely good idea to go for the Encore. Smart, but not smart enough. 2 1 for or 2 and 0 for today's video. Let's go hop to our third and final match. Look for a perfect record. Moving on to our final match, and we're going up against a top tier meta rain squad. They got Pelipper, they got Urshfood, they got Landorus in his incarnate form, and then they got Archaludon just like us with Shen Pao and Dragonite in the back end. So last match, Umbreon was able to save the day with all of its snarls, all that good stuff. But in this match, it's not looking so good. Definitely looking tough. Um, I could go Mouse Hold Annihilate, which I kind of like here. And I think I am going to end up leading that. I am terrified of a lot of different things that they do have. But we do have a nice little fire type terror if need be. But not looking good, especially in the main. But I like both of these guys. I like that lead right there. So Mouse Hold going in with Annihilate. In the back end, we're going to go Ogre Pond. I like Ogre Pond and probably Archaludon. And we're going to really hope that they just set the rain. So we're going to bring our big dogs, hoping that they set the rain. And then my back end Pokemon come in here and clean up this mess. But we'll see. Sometimes, you know, they, they think the same way as me. And they're probably like, hey, hopefully he brings Pelipper because I'm not bringing Pelipper. And sometimes that happens and then there's just no rain at all, which is actually kind of funny. I could see it happening here. It actually happens more times than not. So if they don't bring rain, then we just have Annihilate Mouse Hold ready to go. So let's see. We're going to end up cooking Shen Pao and Lando. Here. Okay, don't mind it. Don't love it, though. You got Swords of Ruin ready to go. Um, they probably do have Terror Dark, which could be annoying. Um, and from here, I could end up just like protecting you, asshole. And I could go for bulk up if I want to. Mm. Follow me, bulk up. I could follow me, bulk up. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go for a follow me bulk up. Hopefully, he ends up just like protecting a slot or something. They're gonna follow me with the mouse hold. And he's gonna end up going for a sacred sword, which hurts his soul because it KOs me in one shot. Nice. Now we're sitting in a rough position because Sansier Storm comes out here. The damage is huge. Yeah, we're not winning this one. 2 1 for today's video. I'm saying it now. Bad start for us. Real bad start for us. The worst start I had all day. So I can obviously protect the Natalie, get some HP back, but this is not 
And I mean, does not look good at all. Not even close. Um, so I'm just gonna go into Ogre Pond here. Sludge Bomb, gonna do me dirty. Um, I'm gonna have to Terrasalize Ogre Pond and just protect the mouse or, or protect the, uh, Annihilate. So yeah, this is really our only way out of here, is to do that. Get some HP back, try to get rid of that Pokemon, and then hopefully, like, Drain Punch later down the road. Get some HP back that way, but our, this start was just atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. I should just train punch, but they're gonna go into the poison terror type. So perfect. Very, very perfect. And Ivy Cudgel really isn't gonna do anything crazy. I could go for Sludge Bomb in the Ogre Pond, too. Could see that happening. But Sansier Swarm might just be the play. I do get a special defense boost from this as well. <clears throat> so putting on the mask, we get the water boost, Terra. We get the special defense boost. Body aspect coming out. Yeah, this one's not looking good for us. Definitely not look good. We're just gonna protect an island. The big time shield onto him. Big time shield comes out here and he goes for an ice crash in that slot. Cool, so we get the block there. I would think they would be going for a sludge bomb here, most likely. Yeah. And how much damage is this gonna do? Little a little less than half, which is good. So it didn't hit the half mark, which is big time. Ivy Coach will flying into this slot. And how much damage are we doing here? Enough. We love it. Plenty. Plenty of damage. So that's big time. So now I'm boosts it plus one on the fence, which is huge. I get back a little bit more HP to my leftovers. And I'm hoping I can soak up a shot with an island. Because if I can get off a drain punch, that'd be beautiful. I could end up just going for a follow me here. Could work well. Go for a follow me. I do like that. I do like that. Maybe follow me drain punch. Depending on who they throw out here, it's going to be Dragonite. Yeah, I think we should go follow me, Dream Punch. Get back HP. We're bulked on defense, and we gotta just start doing some damage onto the same. I'm gonna follow me here. Let's see what they do. Probably go for another Icicle Crash. Now, E Speed's gonna fly here, and you die out. To that. Oh, no. You die out to the E Speeds. The E Speeds KOing us. Tough news here. So, he was E Speeding us regardless. Follow me didn't matter. And Icicle Crash. Can you soak this or just dodge it? You soak it. You're plus one. You do soak it. I love you. I flinch. I flinch. Come on now. Come on now. That ain't cool. That is not cool. I flinch. I simply flinch. Wow. If I didn't flinch, I'd bring that thing down to Sash. And then I would just protect this thing the next turn. And chance started your choice in the East Speed. Then I could just body press you and take you out. But no. It's not happening. Now we have to rely on, like, a double protect to come out here. I don't know. We're just going to go for Drain Punch here. This match wraps. I flinch with an Icicle Crash. We love it. They end up withdrawing this Pokemon. So Withdrawal comes out here. They're going to throw out their final Pokemon. It's going to be Urshifu. Take a sword flying in here. So they thought we were protected, but we're not. But we're not. Stamina's going to boost me up. Drain Punch flying. Give me some HP back. We love it. So they thought we were going to protect there. Thought we were going to protect. Going to focus that up. We do get back some nice HP. But a wicked blow could come out here and finish me off any day of the week. Annoying. It's annoying. So yeah, we're probably losing this one regardless after that hot start we had in the beginning of the match with Mousehole just getting ripped up by Secret Zero. But to get back some HP again, they could just go for a wicked blow and finish this game off. They want to swap the Dragonite just so they can reset their choice. Banned. And yeah, now it's now it's game. Now it's game for show. Unless somehow I outspeed, I don't know how I can actually win this one. But yeah, this is just not happening. I'm gonna go for a Dragon Pulse here, and if I can land a Rage Fist to try to KO this thing, that'd be beautiful. But certain strikes gonna fly here. That's just gonna take us out all day. Three of those bad boys. We gone. We gone. We actually almost soak. We're actually like maybe like 15 HP away from soaking that. But protect, you can't even protect on that thing because unseen fist. Now this thing's going to hit me with like a dragon claw, something along those lines. Oh, I actually outspeed the dragon pulse. And I don't even KO. Love. Oh, Stompy catch comes through. That's the game. That's the game. So I'm actually curious to. I'm curious to see if we would have won that match if we didn't flinch, but I think we would have lost either way. But still, a solid match from our opponent. We brought in a little bit closer. We go 2-1 for today's video.
There you go, ladies and gentlemen, using Umbreon to its fullest potential and going two and one for today's video. The first two matches were awesome. We ended up winning them great all around. First one, I think it was Pelipper and Archeludon, right? Is that who we led and we just kind of dominated the match from there? And then the second match, we kind of just went off with Umbreon, dominating with Snarls, foul plays, all that good stuff. And the third and final match, we're not even going to talk about it. We're, we're just going to let that, we're going to let bygones be bygones, you know? But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos are good live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.